cents to replace the pounds and the shillings and the pence. Be prepared, folks, when the coins begin to mix on the 14th of February, 1966. Who are you? I'm Dollar Bill, and I've come to tell everyone that decimal currency will be here from the 14th of February, 1966. What is decimal currency? Decimal currency is simply a money system worked out in multiples of ten. The base unit is a dollar, which is made up of 100 cents. But why are we changing? What's wrong with the old pound, shillings and pence? I'll show you. Let's do a sum in pound, shillings and pence. First, two halfpennies make a penny. Carry the penny. Five and seven and one make 13 pence. 12 pence make a shilling. That leaves one penny. Uh, carry the 12. Uh, uh, that's uh, one shilling. Three and seven and one are eleven. Carry one. Three ones are three. That's thirty-one shillings. Twenty shillings make one pound. Twenty from thirty-one leaves eleven. Uh, carry the twenty. Uh, I, I mean one pound. Seven and five are twelve and one is thirteen. Uh, carry the one. Three ones are three. Uh, Thirty-three pounds, eleven shillings and one penny. Whew! Now, let's do the same sum in dollars and cents. Five and six are eleven. Carry one. Three and seven and one are eleven. Carry one over the decimal point. No need to convert the cent into dollars. Five and one are six, and one is seven. Two threes are six. Sixty-seven dollars, eleven cents. Now, wasn't that much easier? Ninety-five percent of the world's population live in countries using decimal currency. Australia is one of the last countries to change to decimal currency. New Zealand will change in 1967. Mistakes are easily made in pound, shillings and pence. Bosses get angry and time and money are wasted. Housewives will find decimal currency simpler. Typists and clerks will find it easier. Time and money will be saved and bosses will be happier. How much will these new coins be worth in pound, shillings and pence? Blow me a note and I'll show you. Ten shillings equals one dollar. Five shillings equals fifty cents. Two shillings equals twenty cents. One shilling equals ten cents and sixpence equals five cents. What will these new coins look like? This is the five cent coin with the spiny anteater. It's the same size as the sixpence. And the same value too. And this is the ten cent coin with lyrebird. It's the same size and value as the shilling piece. This is the 20 cent coin showing the platypus. It's the same size and value as the two shilling piece? Yes. And this is the largest coin, the 50 cent with the kangaroo, emu and crest. It's worth five shillings. In come the dollars and in come the cents To replace the pounds and the shillings and the pence Be prepared folks when the coins begin to mix On the 14th of February 1966 Clink go the cents folks, clink, clink, clink Change over day is closer than you think Learn the value of the coins and the way that they appear And things will be much smoother when the decimal point is here in come the dollars and in come the cents To replace the pounds and the shillings and the pence Be prepared folks when the coins begin to mix On the 14th of February 1966